Hey everybody, it's uh, MCG here. I'm back with another vlog. I'm um, on day <clears throat> day three of my little vacation from school. Um, today's Friday, October 14th. It's uh, it's about 10 o'clock a.m. And uh, I decided that today I'm going to do something special for this vlog. Instead of putting it on my top bunk bed in my bedroom and then just staying in front of the camera and being so stupid and like that, I'm still gonna just be staying at my desk today, just like I did for the first two original vlogs I did. <clears throat> so, um, I thought today I would just um, read through some, read through my inbox for today. That is, if there's anything new today on my, my inbox. So I'm just gonna sign in real quick, and then I'll probably read through some old comments I've already read before. It's pretty much what I feel like doing today. Okay, I'm a gamer. I'm not going to say password out loud. Okay. Yep, nothing in my inbox today. See, I'm at that point on YouTube where I'm still new, kind of new to this. Even though I've been on here for almost two years now. But yeah, my uh, two-year anniversary is going to be in uh, about a month. It's going to be on Thanksgiving Day. Well, it depends on when Thanksgiving Day is. If it's going to be the 25th of November, then yeah. Yeah. I joined here about on November 25th, 2009. Ever since then. It's been great. Yep, now it's 10 o'clock right now. Um, yeah, before I started this vlog, I was actually uh, uh, watching some breaking NCS videos. Because I felt like it. Um, oh yeah, I need to go to the comments. Yeah, I haven't really been doing much today. Um, like I said in the yesterday's video, even though it's not even up yet, I haven't uploaded the past three vlogs yet, mainly out of laziness. But once I finish recording this, hopefully, then I will upload these, so. Don't, don't worry, I'll mess them up. Oh yeah, um. Let's see. I could have swore that uh, just recently I had uh, somebody kind of spam me, sent a, sent a spam message that said, go to subforsub.com. The moment I see subforsub.com in a message, just so you guys know, I automatically delete the message and block the person because I know for a fact I'm pretty much used to the whole subforsub.com thing. And there are two reasons why I do not use that website at all. Man. Um. Yeah, I think I've already deleted them all. Pretty sure there was one, though. No, it's not. Wait. Oh, yep, yeah, I found one right here. Uh, this was... Oh, yeah, this was way back in August. I'm I'm not surprised I haven't deleted it yet. You know, I'll show it to you. And, well, I probably should. Okay, just to warn you guys, if you see a message like this right here, it says, um, Bravo, hello, what a beautiful day. How are you, man? Your upload videos in the channel are the best. Check out subforsub.com because it's a great way to get subscribers. Ciao. Marius. And then you'll see that this person sent it to not just me, but a bunch of other YouTubers. Probably at the bottom down here. What the? Okay, that's random. L-I-K-T. I don't know. Yeah, look at all these YouTubers who also got this message. Um, uh, yeah, there's me right there. He, I was the last person he sent it to. God. That says a lot. Yeah, if you, if you get a message from it, don't fall for it. Do not go to SubForSub.com. SubForSub.com, I'm pretty sure, is nothing more than a virus. <coughs> See, I'm not going to go for, sub, for SubForSub.com. I'm going to... Well, first thing I'm going to do is block this person that... Oh, it's already been suspended. Yeah. Usually by the time I receive these kind of messages, the person who sent them automatically gets suspended because he's already sent this to a bunch of other people before. 
and uh, basically it's against the, the law and YouTube's rules to, s to spam people, so. Yeah, that person's already gone for good. Thank God he can't, means he can't uh, spam anybody else. I'll just delete that. All right. <clears throat> See if I can find any more. From uh... oh yeah, this this one uh, really stood out to me. It said um, sometimes they put random uh, subjects that really catch your attention, so you'll read the message. And one of the um, s subjects I got from uh, from another uh, spam was mental channel. What the hell? Mental channel? How does that get somebody's attention? That that's pretty much, that's practically an insult. Hi mate, so it must be somebody from Australia. I'm not trying to be racist here. I'm, I'm just saying. Hi mate, how are you doing? Already, I love your channel and all the videos you upload. You should check out SuffersUp.com because it's a great way to get subscribers. Thank you for your channel and this video. Goodbye. Sorrower. Great. Oh, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Jesus. Yep. Yeah, more YouTubers. You know what? Actually, um, I'm thinking about... Um, Putting on friend block again because I actually had friend block on before because I was afraid this is gonna happen. I mean, like it's not that big of a problem as long as I can recognize it as a as a spam, then uh, I'll be fine. This one. Oh yeah, somebody uh, referred me to. Uh, Console buffoon Buffoonery HD. Basically, it's a channel that um, sponsors gamers. And I was actually thinking about um, doing that because um, I felt that... Wait. No. Okay. Who's on? Hmm. Interesting. So I'm not really talking much. I need to talk more, okay? Um, man. Yeah, the first time somebody ever sent me a, a message like that, I went to the channel and said, hey, thank you, but um, I don't sub for sub. Actually, I don't remember if that's what I did. But then I went through the channel comments and people are saying, spam, spam, spam. You're an awful person. You're, you're spamming people. That's when I finally got through my head that... Hmm. Wow. God. This is crazy, man. All these awful messages. Hmm. You? Oh, never mind. Yeah, sometimes people send me messages just so I can check their channel. Like they're, they go, "Hey, you should check out my channel, and subscribe." And was, that that actually discourages me from checking their channel. Again, somebody asked me to sub back. Well, I'm not gonna do that unless I like their videos. It clearly says on my channel that I do not sub for sub. Okay, so if you ask me to subscribe, I'm not gonna do it. All right, I'm just not going to. You know, if you comment on a bunch of my videos, then yeah, I will check out your channel. You know, if you prove that you actually are a fan of mine, then yeah, I'll check out your channel, but... I'm, also, I'm obviously not going to check out just some random stranger's channel. I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean here, but that's how it goes. I don't want to get popular this way, it's through Sub for Sub. No, I don't want to do that. I know Sub for Sub is a friendly thing to do, but it's... What does what's the point of sub for sub if they're not even gonna watch your videos? That's the thing about sub for sub. If you subscribe to someone just because they subscribe to you, um, there's a ninety percent chance you're not even gonna watch their videos. You're just not going to. So what's the point of subscribing to someone if if you're not gonna watch their videos? The only thing that does 
that just um, fills up your um, it just fills up your your sub box with just with some random crap that you don't even want to watch. So, what's the point of doing it if you're not going to watch their videos? There's there's just no point in subscribing to someone if you don't you're not going to watch their videos. You friend someone, yeah, yeah. Friending is a, is another thing. Hmm. Well, well, there's almost no difference anyways in that. Yeah, I got no comments to read. Well, maybe I could read some old comments to you guys, but... Yeah, I'll do that real quick. Maybe for the next two minutes or so. I don't know. Um... We had 90% of the comments I get these days are on are on my Spongebob Squarepants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman walkthrough. That's how popular it is. People are still watching and commenting on it. It's just, it's just crazy. I never realized it would get this much, you know, popularity. It's just... It's amazing. Oh, here's one. Um, someone commented on part 10 of Spongebob Squarepants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman walkthrough. I'm really confused. I went there... Where you were, Webb, you were about to chase Plankton, but he's not there. Oh yeah, I already applied to that comment, explained everything, so. Um. Oh yeah, and on my Scarab slide outtakes on Donkey Kong 64, Let's Play. Um, so many comments on it, it's like, dude, that is so hard. OMG, don't stop trying, never say never, do anything. Oh my god, don't remind me of that stupid Justin Bieber song. No, not, that's not a song, that's a movie. What am I saying? You're so stupid. I'll probably read one more. Uh, what should I read next? Oh yeah, um, there's another thing that I was mentioning when I first started the walkthrough. Um... I mentioned the reasons why I didn't use the PS2 version, and that's. But the main reason was because there was a glitch on the PS2 version called the loading glitch, where sometimes when you're loading the game, it'll take you back to the main screen of the PS2. And a lot of people were frustrated by that, but there are some people who aren't getting the problem, and they're going, When I played the PS2 version, there was no problem. By the way, I thought this game was creepy. I don't know what's creepy about this game, but. Yeah. It's, that's just, uh, I didn't really know about the loading glitch until I went to Wikipedia, and I researched it a little, and then it said that there were some issues with the loading glitch on the, only on the PS2 version, and the PS2 version was released, like, um, wait, wait, was it at least a month before the GameCube was? Let's check. Alright, um, so in North America, it was released for the PlayStation 2 in November 21st, 2002. Okay, so it was a month, yeah, a month after the PS2 version was released, they released the GameCube version, and right before they released it, they fixed the loading glitch, so it doesn't happen on the GameCube version, on any of the GameCube versions, but they never fixed it before releasing all the PS2 versions, so there's pretty much no PS2 version out there who's guaranteed not to have the loading glitch. It, it just, it can't happen. It's a possibility. Okay, I think I've done enough in this video. Yeah, we're up to about 15 minutes here, so I'm going to end off this vlog here. And, uh, so yeah, this has been day three, Trace, of my vacation from school. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog, I guess, of day uh, four. And I'll see you guys then. Bye.